Hello, I'm Taku Hachisu from the University of Tsukuba, Japan. Today, I'd like to talk about interperson biotactile feedback via waves transmitted through the skin from one person to another. Here, we consider the situation in which two people are holding each other's hand and one person's smart bracelet is vibrating. In this study, we first measure mechanical propagation on the skin of the transmitter person using an accelerometer array. Then we also conducted psychological study to measure perceptual magnitude of the receiver person. Finally, we compare the mechanical and the perceptual magnitude to understand the characteristics of interpersonal vibrotactile transmission. Our motivation is to augment interpersonal touch to facilitate social interactions. So I hope the outbreak of COVID-19 will end soon. We have developed smart bracelets that can measure the touch and provide real-time visual and vibrotactile feedback. This video demonstrates the interpersonal tactile apparent motion. The pair feels vibration moving from one to another. It uses vibration propagation in the skin of the hands. To design haptic augmentation of interpersonal touch, we need to know human factors of the interpersonal vibrotactile transmission. Therefore, the purpose of this study is to understand characteristics of interpersonal vibrotactile transmission. The vibrator was attached to the wrist of the transmitter person. We studied the effect of actuation direction, such as normal and tangential, and vibration frequency such as 50, 100, and 200 hertz. First, we used an accelerometer array to measure mechanical magnitude. Then, we used a second person's finger and magnitude estimation method to measure perceptual magnitude. The x-axis shows the position of the sensor and the y-axis so the mechanical or perceptual magnitude. The tangential actuation and the lower frequency generated strong mechanical propagation. The result of perceptual measurement also shows a similar tendency. We found a high correlation between mechanics and perception. We also studied the effect of mechanical direction of propagation, such as transverse and longitudinal waves on perception. If you are interested, please see our proceeding. Thank you for watching.